Beck Kramer's eyes popped open, his irises a foggy gray. With an annoyed frown, he listened for a repeat of the noise that pulled him from a sound sleep. Nothing but silence. Rolling to his back, the sheet fell unchecked to Beck's hips. Tomorrow, rather, later today, would be busier than usual, and he needed a full night's rest, a rare and precious commodity the past few months. Ringo didn't need him, Beck decided, as his eyes adjusted to the darkened bedroom. Once the burly, lovable mutt was down for the count, settled in his favorite spot near the back door on a huge, incongruous, passion-pink pillow, nothing short of all-out Armageddon could roust the dog. Beck wished he could say the same. One arm resting on his torso, the other slung over his head, his fingers tapped a random beat on the wrought iron bedpost. Taking a deep breath, suddenly he knew. Relaxed muscles tightened as his hand gripped the headboard with white-knuckled awareness. Clean, fresh, unmistakable, with the same subtle hint of citrus that floated through his home twenty-four hours a day. Elusive, yet ever lurking, a wisp of temptation ready to taunt his senses without a moment's warning. The only safe zone in the rambling three-story house was Beck's bedroom, his sanctuary, his refuge, until now. Impossible, Beck frowned. She never crossed the threshold, never dared. And yet, he breathed in again, and his mouth watered. Sawyer? he asked, certain he must be mistaken. I couldn't sleep. The slight husk of her voice, designed by God, he was certain, 